Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to have a look at a squelch sound that I came up with during a live stream not long ago. Um, sounds pretty much like this. <laughs> So let's have a look at how to create this one. So first of all, we're going to create a new MIDI track. Going to go back in here. Let's call it this one white. And I'm just going to copy the MIDI clip. I'm playing quite a low octave, G sharp. And uh, let's, I'm using Serum for this, but Actually, any type of synth will work. You can use Vital, Faceplant, um, pretty much anything that lets you modulate the pitch pretty seamlessly. And with the pitch, I'm talking about the oscillator course over here. Um, so, first of all, what we want to do is we want to activate the filter. Choose a bandpass for this. Give it some resonance and some fat as well. And go into automation mode. And what we're going to do now is we're going to enter draw mode by hitting B or press the button over here. You're just going to draw a random shape here. Cool. Hit B again to exit the pencil mode. This is a four bar filter movement. I'm just going to copy it over like this. And then we're going to do something like this as well. We're going to modulate the oscillator pitch. We're going to draw a line right like this. I'm going to copy this over. And then we're going to go into the warp mode over here. And uh, I'm going to choose flip for this. And what I want to do is I want to use the Chaos 1 to set it to sample and hold mode. And in BPM sync, choose, I don't know, maybe 1 over 8. Um, sounds like this now. I'm going to start with that. 
Now the fun begins when you start adding a beat repeat over this. Set it to insert mode over here, and then no triplets, and interval 1 over 8 maybe. The gate can be left at 7 over 16, but you can play around with this if you want like smaller increments. Um, now we get something, uh, you can also turn up the variation a little bit. Now we're going to have something like this. <laughs> You can also turn down the chance a little bit if you want to have it play only sometimes. But for this it's going to be 100% all the time. And you can play around and tweak the grid a little bit, but we're going to come back to that later. Next, we're going to add some nice effects. Going to get some stereo movement going on. Then we're going to make this a little bit, um, a little bit, sound a little bit more formant, so you can like get this voice texture out of it. <laughs> We want to modulate this guy actually. So what we can do is we can choose Chaos 2 maybe. Then we need a equalizer to get rid of the unnecessary lows. I don't know, maybe around 150. Maybe a little high shelf to get rid of those that crunchiness over there um, caused by the downsampling. <laughs> You can also um, have some reverb in here, actually. And what's interesting with using the reverb is that, uh, also with the delays, that you're going to stutter these. I Otherwise, rarely I use... It's kind of rare that I use built-in effects like delay and reverb, but um, for this particular sound, it can be kind of cool because you get like these textures out of it. So listen to this now. Great. Uh, maybe some compression to handle the peaks a little bit. And finally, you can use something like a filter, like a comb filter, to give it some even more uh, texture. <laughs> Oh, my God. 
Okay, let's see how this sounds in context. Gotta turn down this guy a little bit. So yeah, that's how you can make some kind of a nice stutter squelch that you can resample and sequence into your own stuff. Um, what I like to do with these kind of sounds that are quite repetitive um, is to autograd them with stuff like, I don't know, other type of sounds and then create kind of a question answer thing going on. Um, so yeah. Thanks for tuning in and see you in the next one.